Hey guys, it has been a while since my last video and I'm not sure if I mentioned uh, in one of the videos that this league I'm gonna be doing more meme builds and it turns out it often doesn't pay off <laughs> and uh, the last like six or seven builds were kind of such a failures or just in general not not interesting that I didn't even post any videos about it so this video is also one of those kind of failures not really failures I mean, okay, so I did videos that I did not post, the charge dash with the void forge and then herald stacking, which I refunded into warcry stacking, but it couldn't really do return maps without dying quite frequently, so I just decided not to post any video because, well, herald stacking and warcry stacking, I'm pretty sure that you know that uh, those are pretty meta and, and pretty good things. By stacking, I mean using uh, cluster jewels. After that, I started i believe a necromancer and try to do crit specters with a brittle ailment which does give crit chance to them and to me that turned out to be a failure as well because it, it was just a, a big mess so i converted that necromancer into death in dead it had interesting mechanic where you could basically uh, guarantee uh, maximum uh, generating maximum power charges by just using desecrate and the way you do that uh, from the necromancer the corpse pack node enemies near corpses you spawn recently are chilled and shocked and then you get the storm rider storm rider gives 10 percent chance to gain power charges when you shock a chilled enemy so you you would basically be throwing desecrate uh, with spell cascade almost instantly get uh, maximum power charges on a single target it's a bit slower but it it was working quite well so that definitely dead was I mean, it was already kind of a Frankenstein build converted from one into another, and uh, it was alright. It wasn't, it wasn't as good as it should be for Destiny Dead. So I also decided not to post that. And instead of doing another build, I converted that Destiny Dead, which was previously a Necromancer, uh, converted into <laughs> Occultist, and decided to do Whispering Eyes. And for Whispering Eyes, you want to stack Intelligence. This was of course CI and uh, using casual sharing for some reason i don't even remember why i think it was for some interesting cluster jewel interaction but that didn't work that well so i converted that build into just pure whispering eyes without casual sharing so that's why you're gonna see me using a six links whispering eyes which you don't need if you're just using whispering eyes uh, for ice storm so converted into that didn't really like so then did another iteration where i started using Ivory tower uh, at first before that i was uh, stacking courses with the um, dodri skin i i really miss playing with the dodri skin so i wanted to do that but didn't work so well so uh, now using Ivory tower which allows you to go low life uh, reserving couple auras into your life uh, using low life and then using all the mana for the Archmage, what a surprise, Archmage gives damage. So Archmage was giving a lot of damage to the Ice Storm and also providing me, well, I guess a buffer against Hears damage, but that, this build would work quite alright if I had Hears resistance, but since I don't, I cast one Ice Storm which costs 2500 mana. I can't even cast a second one, uh, this is using Unleash and then if I take uh, Hair's damage like one or two bigger hits, I instantly die, just just like that. So and uh, if that if that didn't happen, it would be kind of alright build, I have 1k intelligence which is not that high, you could, you could invest, this is actually by the way a very cheap uh, kind of approach to this build, you can invest mana exalts and and go for over 2000 intelligence and i'm not even sure if it would be that much more impressive but uh, with unleash it does seem to work pretty well however i'm not using spell cascade if you want to kill your fps just use spell cascade that works so well so i'm not using spell cascade i'm just using archmage for big damage energy leech control destruction arcane surge efficacy and unleash uh, and sometimes I do swap uh, to Conk Effect uh, because Conk Effect actually does give a lot more damage because it also concentrates all the all all the shots into uh, a smaller spot. Also, you could use um, Intensify. I'm pretty sure someone is gonna say, "Have you tried Intensify with eight stacks or nine stacks when it st stops dealing damage?" And that's actually not a bug. 
if you get too much uh, intensify stacks you you make aoe zero which means it cannot even hit anything it, it still shows like a beam ice storm or firestorm like a beam falling into the ground but it does no damage but if you get like eight stacks i believe the damage would become like pretty damn insane but i mean how are you gonna be killing enemies that move even even one step so i'm not doing intensify stacking and the rest of the items i mean th this is kind of this i would not recommend this build i just wanted to do a video and, and say hey I'm, I'm not dead i'm just doing bad builds over and over and and i can do a good build i guess so this is just a quick video I don't know if Ivory Tower is actually worth it. The thing is, Ivory Tower is, is pretty interesting. You get maximum life and that turns into maximum ES. And it also gives intelligence and, and mana which you do need for, for Archmage. So it does work kind of alright. So I guess since I would not recommend this video, I will at least talk about some interesting things that you could do. Maybe you haven't thought about it. So I'm actually using the Algor Mortis uh, gloves which give 30% well between 20 and 30 percent chance to stop enemies in chilling areas and i initially misunderstood how it works i thought that once enemies enter the chilling area they, they get a chance to be stopped but this is actually not like that once enemies are in the chilling areas your hits have a chance to stop so you still need to hit with lighting damage to apply stronger sub uh sub enemies deal up to 20 percent less damage and it is based on your lighting damage of hits initially i misunderstood that thinking that you don't need to hit actually the scale it that you always get the uh, like maximum sub uh, and with this build it does work very well the whispering ice creates chilling ground which then enables you to sub enemies with your lightning hits and you do lightning hits because this is archmage and archmage is like it is over 100,000 average hit for lightning damage and um, around 30,000 for cold damage about 70% of my damage is lighting and I should be hitting I believe strong enough with lighting and that works pretty well because as occultist uh, malediction also makes enemies deal reduce damage so it does stack multiplicatively with this malediction and you can also use uh, courses like uh, enfeeble or temp chain to make it more defensive um i'm also using wise oak which does give me some mitigation well currently only against cold and lighting previously it was also against fire so it does have some decent defensive layers but here damage just brutally murders me i i can't really do anything about this anymore okay another thing uh, that may be interesting is uh, cold conduction enemy shield by your hits are shocked and enemy shocked by your hits are chilled so that also works pretty well with um, I guess any lighting or any gold skills. Uh, Sadist node is another thing that can give you a lot of damage. If you are chilling and shocking and igniting, you're basically getting 60% increased elemental damage. Another thing I'm using is uh, Snowstorm, which does give quite a lot of um, extra cold. And uh, since I'm doing a lot of lighting, for mana stacking builds, people usually use this Will Shaper. Again, 5% of maximum mana as extra maximum energy shield because well you're stacking a lot of mana and you want to get uh, yes but actually it's energy from north is actually almost equally as good it depends on your mana pool if you got more than uh, more mana than me then maybe this one will give you more in uh, more energy shield than uh, energy from north but energy from north is much cheaper as well that could save you a lot of chaos maybe even exalts and uh, you can also roll it's it's much cheaper also to roll some some other good stats like like this one intelligence oh one more thing that i totally forgot about that ice storm uh this is non-crit build so i'm using elemental overload and the issue is that ice storm critical strike chance is rolled on cast not on every single hit so either all hits critical strike or none of them critical strike and that means elemental overload is very unreliable and uh, you're gonna have to use uh, some skill that would would hit more frequently and roll critical strikes on each hit like uh, orb of storm or um, storm brand i still prefer to use orb of storm uh, another thing for this very important uh, since i'm using unleash i need to recover mana fast enough and i don't have that insane mana region i don't even even have watcher sign so Recover 2% of mana when you kill a cursed enemy and another one here recover 2% of mana on kill. So 
basically I recover 4% 4 of my maximum mana when I kill a chorus enemy. And to guarantee that I always chorus enemies, I am using LA weakness on a hit um, corruption mod on gloves. I think I paid like 50-60 hairs. Since Ice Storm does hit very fast, uh, very frequently, it does basically guarantee that I will apply sap on enemies and we are gonna do less damage. And because we are on a chilling ground, we are also slower. The damage is not that bad. If you can solve the hair's resistance issue or just use different body armor, I think the build could be pretty solid. In fact, you could uh, make the damage go up even higher. I'm most of the time was not using Valrachos Fire. If you get your hands on um, Awaken Unleash and if you can afford to anoint extra seal for Unleash, that could be pretty high damage increase. But uh, the issue with Unleash is that you can't really constantly spam it and uh, because if you do, well, you first of all, you're not gonna have enough mana. And another issue is that with the Ice Storm in general is that enemies don't don't just stand still, they, they, they move a lot. The Redeemer Conqueror is a pretty good example for this build because it just doesn't move much, it just keeps casting stuff. So the damage on that Redeemer was pretty, pretty good I would say. Anyway, I think this video is already too long and my words are merging together into some unknown words. <laughs> the next video, if I can force myself to do it, because the reason that I have been uh, suffering from headaches over and over, uh, the next video should be about uh, what's unique about the sneak and the march of the legion boots hopefully if not maybe some some I don't know I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing <laughs> next I'm in general kind of bored of this league I'm skipping all of the simul uh, not similar all of the delirium encounters because the performance is just just horrible I don't even want to play the game with this kind of performance so yeah we'll see about the next video so thank you for watching and I will see you soon bye bye